What's up internet? My name is Kayla and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting up a series I started forever ago called What's in My Makeup which is just simply a series inspired by Jen Love Reviews and her love of researching ingredients. I'm doing a similar thing but in these videos I'm focusing on one specific ingredient. That first video I did was about talc and mica so I'll have that link down below but today's video is going to be on the trendy, the popular hyaluronic acid. It is always touted in the marketing that a product has it. Like there is no way that you're not gonna, in newer products that come out, if a product has hyaluronic acid in it, you're going to know, okay? But there are some products, some older ones that don't have it, but I wanna talk about what hyaluronic acid is, what it does, and the products it's found in, and also if there's any, any concerns at all about it. So with all that said, let's get rolling. acid is even though it has acid in it we kind of tend to think of it as a bad thing for our skin it's actually a humectant and a humectant is just a category of skincare ingredients that are hydroscopic which then means that they draw moisture from their surroundings and something else that I thought was really cool about hyaluronic acid is that it can actually, like a molecule of it, can hold 1,000 times its weight in water. So these things draw in water from their surroundings and they can hold it. Because of this, um, it's found in water-based moisturizers and serums. I have, so if, just imagine a very thin, lightweight moisturizer, those, and serums, those are the kind of things that you can probably give a strong guess that hyaluronic acid is in. In terms of what it does, is it helps skin, it helps the skin retain water because it can hold that much, which therefore keeps our skin moisturized. Hyaluronic acid can be touted as a anti-aging ingredient because of this, because the more moisturized your skin is, the less, um, fine lines and wrinkles are going to look diminished. They're not going to go away completely, but they're definitely going to kind of hide underneath and I can just tell you that there's not hyaluronic acid, I don't think, in my eye cream because the wrinkles are still there, okay? They're still right there and present. So I need to definitely get some hyaluronic acid for myself. What it also does is not only is it a nice skincare ingredient, but it also can soothe the joints. If you have strong, if you have some bad joint pain, you can apply hyaluronic acid topically on top of that joint to get into the cartilage of the joint. Um, which is another place on, in your body where hyaluronic acid is naturally there to help kind of lubricate it and make it easier for and easier in your joints. And also on top of that, it can heal wounds. Um, it can draw in, um, it, can it can regulate the inflammation levels of your joints and wounds to actually make them feel be heal faster. Now there are, and there are supplement, hyaluronic acid supplements that you can take, but in terms of like the wound healing and the joint soothing, you're probably just going to want to apply that directly to your skin. But there, in terms of kind of like skincare versus that, um, whether you want to use a serum or supplement, it's kind of on the fence on whether or not which one is going to be the best option out of easiness, ease. Uh, and to make sure you're getting what you're getting, I would apply topically, but that's just me, okay? <laughs> and in terms of side effects, there's not really any side effects. There's not really any downsides to hyaluronic acid, acid because again, it's already in your body. You're just adding more of it. It's like vitamin D. Your body makes it, but if you take some, but if you take some extra vitamin D, it's gonna help you out during the horrible winter season, which is what I'm going through right now. That is for sure. And so there was actually a study I read where they wanted to see, you know, is there a limit of where more hyaluronic acid doesn't really kind of make a difference. And it's not like you can keep adding and adding it and you'll get even more moisturized, beautiful and all this stuff. But they didn't see any bad things that happen when you did use a, a lot of hyaluronic acid or had it as a supplement. That's what it is, that's what it does, those are the side effects or lack thereof. But where can you find hyaluronic acid in the makeup and skincare? Well, in terms of like some 
something that I found that was really cool, and I did not know this before, but if you type an ingredient to Ultar Sephora, it will bring up all of the products that has that ingredient in it. For some reason, I thought you could only look up brands and like products themselves. I never thought of researching an ingredient, but that's gonna be a very helpful tip and save my life and hopefully help you guys out too when you're looking, if you are interested in purchasing a product with hyaluronic acid. But some kind of the not newer products, the non-popular ones that I noticed it in is the Smashbox Primerizer. I have tried that. I do enjoy it. Do I think it's anything super special? Maybe not, but I've used it and I do enjoy it. <laughs> um, the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation I have used and really enjoy. That's in my shop, my stash. Currently, um, the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and Loose Powder. I haven't tried the loose powder. I've tried the foundation. I did a quick review on that earlier, like probably in August. And then just in general, um, the A Cosmetics um, Cream, A Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer Super Cream. That is the full name, okay? A Cosmetics, we get it. It's a super cream. But you can also find it in the powders that they have and then the BB creams. I don't know if it's in the matte uh, BBCC cream magical thing they have, but it is in the illuminating and the standard one. In general, find it in serums and night creams and foundation sticks. A lot of foundation sticks have it just to make it really smooth and creamy. And, and then in general, in terms of brands that I noticed as I was looking through Ulta and Sephora that I noticed had a lot of products with hyaluronic acid is the Ulta brand, which kind of surprised me, but their moisturizer, their foundation sticks. Um, I think I saw a foundation with hyaluronic acid in it. The Ordinary has a straight up hyaluronic serum. If you don't want to deal with kind of the loosey goosey stuff and want to go straight for the serum itself, you can purchase that. I also did find a couple um, cruelty free options on Amazon, so I'm going to put those hyaluronic acid serums down in the, com in the description box. But you also can find hyaluronic acid in the pharmacy brands Sephora, Mario Badescu, Drunk Elephant, again, in cosmetics, and Ole Henriksen. So, in conclusion, hyaluronic acid may seem pretty freaking trendy, but at the end of the day, it sounds like a really good ingredient. I kind of expected to find something that was like, oh, kind of the nip in the bud, like with talc and mica. Mica is pretty solid, but talc is like, er, the asbestos thing. Can we be concerned? Do we not? I don't know. But all in all, hyaluronic acid seems to be a very potentially good part of any skincare routine. I'm going to look into purchasing The Ordinary. I don't know if they're cruelty free or not, but if The Ordinary is, I plan on picking up that Sippy Serum at Sephora and or um, from Amazon finding something there. But something to keep in mind with hyaluronic acid is that it doesn't have a long life in your body. Um, let me look here. So in your body, in terms of kind of like its turnover, it lasts less than a day in your skin. It will last one to three weeks in your cartilage and then basically just minutes in your blood. So it, there is a time turnover rate. So this is something that you are probably going to want to apply every day. So do keep that in mind. But with all that said, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two about hyaluronic acid during this video. I would love it if you do me the honor of subscribing to my channel, giving this video a thumbs up, and telling me what ingredient you want me to research next. I already do have one picked out for March, but if I have a couple people saying I really want this thing, I might change it up. But uh, yes, that's the other thing. I plan on doing this series once a month. So thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Kayla Hayes, Kayla with a C, Hayes with a Z, and I'll see you on my next video. Have joy! <laughs>